I'm also pro-gun. All right, looks like this is an NRA meeting tonight, huh? You can't say it like that, though. I said that too soft. I'm pro-gun. You can't do that. You gotta say, I'm pro-gun! You can't just be like, hey, I just want you to know, I'm pro-gun. I'm so pro-bullets. You have to say, I'm pro-gun! I love my gun! I love my country, I love my gun. I am pro-gun. I'm pro-gun. And I'm pro-gun control, so... I'm both, because <laughs> I'm an adult. I know the media makes you want to think you got to be one or the other, but doesn't it depend on the context? It depends on the context. Like, it's easy for me to say there should be no guns. I'm from a city, right? Somebody breaks into my house and I call the cops, the cops are there in 10 seconds. But if you live in a part of the country where it is hard to explain to the cops where your house is, you need a fucking gun. Somebody breaks into your farm at two in the morning or whatever. You call the cops like, hurry it up, man. I think somebody's breaking into my farm. Where do I live? Okay. You know where Lake Tonkahonka is? Tonkahonka, yeah. What you're gonna do is go about 20 miles past Lake Tonkahonka, make a left right there at that little bush cul-de-sac. You know where the Smith farm is right there? Yeah, there's a tree with an eagle on top of it this time of year. Now, you know that little path behind the horses there? Yeah, you're gonna follow that path all the way down the mountain until you come to a river. There's a canoe waiting for you on the riverbank. Row it across, hurry it up, because he's choking me right now. You need a gun. <laughs> but that's all you need, man. You need a gun. You don't need like an arsenal of weapons. It's always the smallest town people who are the most paranoid. It's like, dude, you got nothing to be paranoid about. Nobody's breaking into your farm. You live in a town of 250 people. You are related to 170 of them. If you hear someone in your farm at two in the morning, that's Cousin Larry getting some butter. That's all that is. Shoot, put the gun down, it's Larry, shit! How many times we gotta go over this, man? I'm having pancakes and I ran out of fucking butter! Shit, put the gun down! Put the gun down, shit! Don't sneak up on me like that, Larry, god damn it! But country folk love their guns, man. Small town people love them, dude. They're paranoid. Paranoid. Paranoid of the government. They're always like, you never know when the government is going to come and invade your town. So I am ready. I got four Glock 9s, 14 semi-automatic sawed-off shotguns, 44 Apache helicopters, two tanks. I am ready. Should be able to own a gun. You know, a little background check, make sure you're not a fucking psycho. You know, <laughs> that's all, not a big deal. But the NRA, dude, the NRA doesn't want any regulation. That's what I love about them. I love how they pretend like they're just a moral force for the Second Amendment, not a lobby group that's employed by weapons manufacturers to make sure there's no regulation so they can sell as many guns as they want. And they hijack everyone's logic with their slogan, guns don't kill people, people kill people. Which is a good point, man. People do kill people. I don't know if you've been out in these streets, there's not a lot of pelicans killing people out there. It's like, they just don't have the dexterity to pull it off. It's usually people, but sometimes syphilis will also kill you, so you gotta get that burn checked. There's a lot of things that they left off the list that can kill you. But they are right, man. You do have to give it to them. People do kill people with fucking guns. <laughs> When's the last time you got mugged by karate? When did that happen? <laughs> When's the last time you were walking in a bad neighborhood and a ninja just popped out of nowhere? You're like, be careful if you're walking late at night, make sure you bring your Eastern wisdom with you. There's a lot of ninjas lurking in these alleyways. 
Like if I was at a mall and some dude came into the mall and tried to shoot up the mall with Chinese stars, I would fucking love every moment of it. He came in, just had a pouch, and he just started flinging them everywhere on a rampage. And fucking, I'd be like, hold up, don't call the cops. Let's see how he does. This is awesome. That is not easy. If he hit me in the shoulder, I'd be like, good fucking hit, dude. That was 20 yards. I would leave it in my shoulder just for the story. I wouldn't even take it out. Tell my friends later, like, look, you would not believe what happened to me today. I was in the mall trying to get a Wetzel's pretzel and uh, a disgruntled ninja came out of nowhere. Apparently got fired from his dojo and uh, went on a rampage. Take a picture of it, put it on Instagram. Share it, hashtag doesn't happen every day. <laughs> hashtag blessed. <laughs> you can't tell me the gun didn't have anything to do with it. That would be a different headline, right? Without the gun. Crazy guy with Chinese stars comes in, hits one guy in the shoulder. Guy hitting the shoulder is proud. <laughs> guy with Chinese stars gets tackled by a pregnant substitute teacher and mall rats. Mall back open for business.